Hey guys, welcome to Living Satisfied. On this channel, we talk about different ways to live a more satisfied life. And so today I wanna to talk about baby gift ideas. And these ideas are specifically geared for Christmas 2016, but really they can be used for any time that you need a baby gift. All of the products I talk about will be linked down below. And you can also go and see livingsatisfiedfavorites.com for some of my favorite items of like books, uh, maybe even food and kitchen, just miscellaneous stuff, parenting, baby stuff, really anything that is kind of classified as my favorites will be on that website. If you're new to this channel, consider pressing the subscribe button down below. Basically, we just talk about ways to live a more satisfied life, whether that is recipes, parenting tips and tricks, maybe even some vlogs or travel diaries, or really just any fun topics like that. And I will put a disclaimer in the fact that I am sick and I have a stuffy nose slash runny nose and my throat hurts and I just don't feel good overall. Um, so I'm sorry that if I like sniffle in this video and that grosses you out, I didn't mean to, but I can't help it. And I am also in my kitchen, my half renovated kitchen. So we have a lot of stuff done, but obviously cabinets need to be painted and stuff. But baby is sleeping and so I'm trying to get this done and this is the quietest place in the house that I can get it done. I try to pick out gifts that can last a good long time. We try to be pretty minimal as far as toys within our household. We really don't have that many toys for Joe's because a lot of the toys that he wants to play with are like the box that this camera is sitting on or the controller that we're holding or our cell phones or I don't, these little things that are sitting on my table right now. And so we really try not to get him too many toys and so the toys that we do get him, we try to make sure that they're going to last a good bit longer or, you know, especially for like future kids or even just toys that he can really grow with. So here are some of the toys that are my favorites and that we will be getting Jones for Christmas. Um, obviously not all of these toys are gonna be getting him, but these are some of the things that are my favorites. The first product that I really love is the Zany Wooden Activity Cube, which is right here. So I feel like this gift, my baby is currently 11 months old and we just got this for him. And I feel like it's really gonna stretch a good far way into the future. He currently can sort of use it. Like, you know, his fine motor skills aren't that great. So like opening the doors, he more just kind of like grasps them and opens them. But I know that as he ages, it will be just a better and better gift. The next is the wooden toy mallet. I think these are so much fun. They have like plastic versions of these as well. But again, I really enjoy the wooden products. I feel like they're going to last a bit longer. The kids are probably going to be chewing on them anyways. And so they're a little bit softer on their teeth, a little bit hardier and going to, I don't know, last longer. And so these are really fun because it uses um, a little bit different parts of their brain trying to like get the toys down and they can pull them back up. So I think these are really fun. The next is the sorting cubes. Now my baby is not old enough to play with these, but I think these would be a really great gift for a baby because they can grow into them. And in the meantime, they can simply just play with the little blocks or you know, explore putting their fingers in the holes. And then once they get a little bit bigger, they can really use those cognitive skills to start sorting different shapes into the correct places. Next is the geometric stackers. So these are a little bit different than just the ordinary like ring. I'm still holding on to this. So these are a little bit different than just like the normal like round stack tubes. They have different shapes and they even have like different little grooves in them, which I think is really great, especially as they get older, they can really start like figuring out how to place them correctly. And in the meantime, while they're younger, they can just have fun playing with them in general. Next is just stacking blocks. You can't go wrong with stacking blocks, boy, girl, whatever. It, yeah, I don't know, they're stacking blocks. That is what I recommend. And I think that every kid can use them. And I think even as they become toddlers or even like two or three years old, they will love to stack them and play around with them. Next is a really fun one that I definitely am putting on my list for Jones for Christmas. And those are the little tents slash the little tunnels that they can crawl through. One of my husband's cousins came to stay with us for a while and they had one of those big long tubes that 
kids can th crawl through and Jones wasn't quite big enough to do it but he would crawl a little bit in and he really enjoyed it so this one's a little bit shorter and then it also has like a tent so you can have them crawl through into the tent and I think kids just love being in like small spaces whether that's under the kitchen table underneath chairs really any sort of tent and i like this one in particular because i've seen the other like just general like tents that people are having right now they're like the canvas ones they're like look like little teepees and i like those but i like this one because you can take it outside you can take it inside and you can really just move it around really easily versus the other ones you can't move and i know in my household i am upstairs and then i'm downstairs and then i'm in his room and we really just kind of go around the house throughout the day and then we'll sit outside for a while and so i think these would be nice to be able to kind of take along with me in different areas of the house two items are a little bit for older kids the first one is this four in one stroll and tyke and i like this because basically it's a little bicycle and but it works for the itty bitty kids too here is a picture of it i like it because you can use it for itty bitty kids it has like the safety things and it's just like a fun way to stroll around but then as the kid gets older eventually it can just be like a little tricycle which i think is really fun and again i am all for gifts that can stay a lot longer because we do try to stay really minimal with the amount of toys in our house and so I like things that can grow with them or things that can kind of like morph into other things. Along the same line is the balancing bikes. Now this is ages like one and a half on. And so it's a little bit older, but if you're looking for a gift that like a little bit more of an expensive gift that your kid can use or if your kid's a little bit older, balancing bikes have been like the jam for a lot of kids and they're really fun to teach them balance and help them on their way to riding a bike the last products that i have that are always great gifts are like little shoes they grow out of them so fast and so i find that if you especially for like the little ones i have one linked down in the description i don't know just little baby shoes are really helpful some babies end up walking a lot earlier some babies walk a lot later mine's 11 months and still not walking but now that it's winter time he needs some shoes and they again grow out of them so fast so those are really great gifts that are a little bit pricey for like normal parents to go out and buy and i don't think they're a really fun thing for parents to go out and buy because they do grow out of them so fast so that's a really fun gift that you can get a parent lastly are drool bibs they have the cutest drool bibs out these days that are not very expensive and I got quite a few of these for Jones over the past few months as he's teething and just, I don't know, salivating more. And they're really fun because I wanted, I didn't want like the really bright colored ones. I wanted more like trendy ones and they're all over Amazon and you, a lot of them are all rated really well. And I don't know, we have loved ours. I will link a couple of them down below and I don't know, they make really great gifts and they're really fun and that's it. Those are all the baby gift ideas that I have for you today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Write down in the comments below some of your favorite baby gifts. I'd love to hear what you guys are buying little babies as well. Again, I find that the best thing to buy for parents are things that can be used a lot longer or honestly just things that the kids are going to grow out of really fast. So even things like clothing items, like really cute outfit, um, you can it's winter, you could buy like a really cute little pea coat that are on the pricier end that the parent might not want to spend the money on. Buying things like that are really good things um, to get. You could always get them like little socks because Lord knows that they lose socks like every single day. <laughs> so I would just try to think about gifts that the parent doesn't necessarily want to buy their kid because they're either gonna grow out of it really fast or they're on the like more pricey side and just are not essential. So thank you guys so much for watching. Again, consider pressing the subscribe button right down below if you wanna see more videos like this. I also have a gifts for women video and a gifts for men video. So be sure to check those out as well. And I hope that you have a great holiday season and that you use this video for other times of the year as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Every single time I record a video, somebody calls me every single time this is it's just it's ridiculous baby just woke up i'm just playing with it